Good morning. It's been a while since I've been out here to do an update on the renovations at Sweet Marsh, but I learned on from a, a comment on one of my videos that the the work for this winter, late fall in this winter, is completed, and now they're going to wait and finish things up in the spring. So I thought it'd be a good time to go out and take a look, see what's going on out here. Come along with me if you're interested. I find that when I'm out here hiking and doing videos and using my GoPro and using the drone and using my still camera that as you can see I've really got my hands full but it seems to be working it's really interesting that today is February 4th and considering it's February 4th it's warm the there's still plenty of ice you'll see later or maybe you've seen in the background but um, this place has got a lot of geese right now well, everything shows that it's early spring. Now, I don't know how, how accurate that groundhog is. I tend to not believe it, but it did say that we're going to have an early spring, and based on today's activities, it certainly looks like that's possible, and I would be fine with that. The reality is I do know we're going to get more winter. That's just the way it is. It is only February 4th. As I walk up on the dikes here, I can already see that this could be a greasy mess. Part of the process, but it could be a greasy mess. I think they've got a lot of the fill material, or the, the removed material has been put on the dikes and spread out, so hopefully, hopefully it got cold enough last night that I'll be able to walk on this stuff without getting all slopped up worse than I already do when I come out here. But just to give you an idea, you can see we've got several inches of film material here. And we're about to see what does the renovated Sweet Marsh look like right now. Not sure what they're going to do with all the woody growth that's out there. I would guess that's going to present a challenge, but maybe they've got a plan. There haven't been, well, I haven't seen a press release in a long time, so I don't know exactly what the plan is out here, but uh, I'll continue to follow it. So let's take a look at this from the air. We'll kind of run up along the, the channel here, separating Martin's Lake from the refuge. We'll do that first. Very straight channels. Following the dikes, of course. I don't remember for sure how deep these are supposed to be, if they're 6 foot or 8 foot or 10 foot, I don't know. We know they'll be deeper than they used to be. And there was some spillway work done. kind of want to get a view of this area since this is where a lot of ice fishing used to happen kind of be able to see where water pockets are deep areas are That's that part. Now I'm going to do a, as the crow flies, cut across before my batteries go dead here. So we can look at it from, from the boat ramp. I'm really not sure how all of the woody stuff will be taken care of. 
there's so much of it and maybe it'll drown out over a couple of years or a year I don't know Here you can see the channels cut in, dug in. A lot of work's been done out here. I would think this ought to help keep some fish alive if they move to the deeper channels when it's cold or when it's uh, ice season and low water. I think I've pretty much documented what I can for today. As more work is done this coming spring, I'll, I'll try to keep you posted on what's happening. If you enjoy these types of videos, I encourage you to subscribe. And for those who have stuck with this to the end, I thank you for watching.